We begin with major progress to report as crews work to get power restored in Wildwood. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Atlantic City Electric says the lights are back on for 15,000 customers. This after a fire at a substation this afternoon. 9,000 people are still without power. Today's outage has had a major impact on both visitors and businesses. CBS Philadelphia's Nikki Dementory was in the short town when, for some, the lights came back on. The power might be out at Kate Shule's Wildwood house, but that's not getting in the way of having neighbors over to her garage bar Friday night. We have a generator, so the beer box is cold. <laughs> Across Susquehanna Avenue, Atlantic City electric crews are working to quickly restore power to 24,000 customers in Wildwood and Wildwood Crest. I mean, we have hurricanes here, so we lose power. We've had winter storms where we've lost power. Nothing quite like the fire, you know, the electrical grid catching fire, but keep it interesting. This after the company says its Lake Avenue substation caught on fire around noon, throwing the boardwalk, businesses, and neighbors into the dark. Stoplights were also out on the island. But it's all hands on deck at this point. All of our crews are here working diligently. They will be working through the night. Atlantic City Electric says around 1 p.m., the Lake Avenue substation fire was contained. Now, around 5 p.m., about 1,800 customers got their power back. Uh, we were up at the water park, and about 12:30, our phones all started ringing that the power plant on the corner was on fire. And I quickly realized that all the slides were not working at the water park. Lauren Kotick lives blocks from the substation on West Oak Avenue. She's relieved her power is back on. About 10, 20 minutes ago. How's it feel? Yeah. Good. That's, we were all laying in there in the air conditioning. <laughs> Atlantic City Electric says 15,000 customers should have power restored Friday night, while the remaining customers will come back online Saturday. We're working on rerouting power from different sources to be able to provide them with, um, you know, restored service as quickly and, of course, as safely as possible. According to the company, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. In Wildwood, Nikki Dementry, CBS News, Philadelphia.